Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my review, and today we are going to talk about Realme X2 Pro. And every single specification or any news mentioned in this video is confirmed, so you don't have to worry about any fake things and all. And if you ever find something mentioned in the in this video is fake, then you have all the rights to give me a dislike and comment whatever you want or unsubscribe to my channel if you have already subscribed so without wasting any time let's jump into today's topic but before that i'll like to mention you one thing that i have posted all the timestamps about different section of the video in my description box so you can choose what part you really want to see so now moving forward to the video so here are some of the images of the device so from the first image we can obviously see the quad camera setup in this one and this is from Tena site so it is just confirmed so you don't have to worry about anything and from the side view you can see that the camera bump is quite big and the smartphone looks fine from the side as well we don't have the front view but we know that this device is gonna have a dew drop display so talking about the next part we have all the specification of the device and here is the image on your screen that is in Chinese so I'll be translating the important part to English or if you understand Chinese then that will be great for you as well the processor will be Snapdragon 855 plus made by 7 nanometer fabrication technology with Adreno 640 GPU expected CPU benchmark score is about 3600 for single score and 11,100 multi-score but the real story is something different which I'll mention in the last part of the video. So the storage type will be UFS 3.0 and RAM used will be LPDDR4X. The display size will be 6.55 inch with 2400 by 1080 pixel and the aspect ratio will be 20 is to 9. Battery size will be 4000 mAh, it will be packed with amazing 90Hz display, there will be stereo speakers as well, the dimension of device is 161.0 by 75.7 by 8.7 and will weigh 199 grams. The device will support up to 50 watt ultra high speed charging but we don't know if the charger is going to be available in the box or you have to buy it separately. The front camera will be of 16 megapixel and the rear camera will be of 48 plus 13 plus 8 plus 2 megapixel. So these are the, all of the specification which you really want to see in the smartphone which I mentioned before the launch date. And here are the images taken from Tena site as well. So you can also see most of the specification which I've already mentioned are also mentioned in this site as well so you don't have to worry about any fake things and all and now finally coming towards the Geekbench part here in your screen you can see the Geekbench score where single core score is 3562 and multi core score is 10428 so you can obviously see that the Android operating system will be Android 9 Pi out of the box so you will get Android 10 may be really soon and here you can see our 12 gigabyte RAM variant as well and from the Tena side we have seen that 6 gigabyte RAM variant is also available for this one so you don't have to worry about RAM variants I think that will be 6, 8 and 12 or something like that I'm not quite sure about that one but yeah you will get 6 and 12 gigabyte variant obviously and you can also see that the base frequency is 1.78 gigahertz which also confirms the fact about the device being packed with Snapdragon 855 plus chip. So this is all for today guys. Hope to see you in the next one. And yeah, obviously if you like the video, then don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share to support the channel. Until my next video, peace.